Hi, this is Doug. And I'm Cindy. Welcome to Help Me Help Mama Livecast. Thanks for joining in today. Today we're going to be talking about money and legacy. That is your parents' money and what legacy your parents would want to leave after they pass on. And you know, this is one of the things that's real important to do way in advance, but we see in our law practice people you know they a lot of times the parents don't want to talk about this in advance money's kind of a touchy situation you know it's not talked about in plat company between family members and uh, the kids don't want to ask about it because that's equally as awkward so it can be a really tough situation when the parent starts declining can it it can but you know it's really really important that you sit down and have this conversation and it may take two or three different attempts to get your loved one to understand that you need to know about their financial situation. It's not that you want to take over control, not that you're prying, but as they age, chances are really good they're going to start to decline. And as they decline, they're going to need more care. Now, who's going to provide that care? Is it going to be you? And are you going to do that for free? Or are you going to have a care agreement and you get paid for it? Or are you going to hire outside help? In our area, what does it cost for outside help? Usually in excess of $20 an hour, and it's usually private pay, you know, just pay out of pocket. And a lot of times that's that's where it starts you know mom or dad needs some help at home the kids love mom or dad they want to help but they they're busy they got their family they got their kids or grandkids they've got their job business or profession they're just real busy and they stop by as often as they can while they're there they do what they can to help but they just don't have enough time there's, if there were two of them, one of them would be there with mom and dad and the other one would be out doing other stuff, but there's not, there's just one of you and uh, that makes it, makes it tough. So you gotta have outside care and that's expensive. Absolutely. So that's one reason you need to know about their money situation. It's gonna cost more for care as they decline and you need to be prepared for which environment are they gonna be prepared, cared for in. And we talk about care at home and there's like five or six different options there and they are usually different prices then there's facility care those are definitely different prices because they're different tiers of care you need to know about your parents financial situation so that you can help them plan for their future. Now, and are you, I'm sorry, are you, Go ahead. I was going to ask, say, are you authorized to make decisions on their behalf? You know, a lot of times mom or dad will say, well, you know, I've, I've told Cindy that I want her to do whatever if I need her, you know, need it in the future. And she used to use my money for my benefit. But guess what? If Cindy's not authorized, there's not legal documents in place. When Cindy goes to mom's bank, the bank's going to say, who are you? Yeah. <laughs> no, you're no. not going to do this. <laughs> no, you're not. We're not going to tell you anything. You're not getting access to mom's account. So to use her money for her benefit. It. So it's it makes it tough if this is not done in advance, and if 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 people wait too late, that is until after mom or dad lose capacity. Well, then they're you know sometimes they have to go to court and get a guardianship. Yes, so that's that's a money roadblock, and there are different kinds between like a bank and a brokerage company, bro brokerage firm. It's in different roadblocks so you need to be prepared to get past all of those roadblocks leaving a legacy now there's two different kinds of legacies in my mind the first is when i think of legacy i think of my grandmother she wasn't she wasn't a rich person grandma match but she left a legacy that <clears throat> when we were small she taught us how to work hard and work smart and she was always there to support us emotionally and to cheer us on. And as she declined, we gathered around her and it's like, that's the legacy that she left us. <clears throat> in a, you know, in my mind, that's the most important legacy you could leave, you know, have things in writing, family pictures, family videos, uh, 
all things like that that will mean way more to the family down the road than than money uh, but the money legacy is the other thing land uh, money property and we uh, talk family about home yeah family home we that may have been in the family for generations and we talk about these things in another video you, if you're on the YouTube channel and watching this look in our playlist and we have several other videos on other topics here that may be specifically on point to what you're wanting information on um, but yeah this is important too if the parents want to leave a monetary legacy they definitely need to contact their estate planning or elder law attorney while they still have capacity to do so and and you know get get things in place you know and sometimes mom or dad did a will like 30 years ago, 40 years yeah. ago, 50 years yeah. ago, and it yeah. may not even be close to what they want now. So it's important to have these things reviewed and uh, make sure that what they have in writing is what they actually want, because if not, well, what they have in writing is going to prevail, even if that's not what they wanted. Uh, so absolutely and an important part of this estate plan for mom and dad is to have a life care plan so that they can say where they want to live who they want around them who they don't want around them who, where they don't want to live and they plan for that so there are a lot of elements to it we just wanted you to be prepared because money and legacy go hand in hand and as your loved one declines and it re they require more care, it's going to take more money. So you need to plan for that. We talk about many of these things in our daily newsletter. If you're not signed up to receive our daily free newsletter called Caregiver Connection, you can sign up at help.mom backslash cc. That's help.mom, M-O-M, not C-O-M, but M-O-M as in mom help.mom backslash cc and you can sign up for it to receive it free uh, every weekday so thank you for watching today hope these tips helped and we'll talk to you again soon and thank you for being a caregiver for your loved one you're making a huge difference in their life